1. An AI-powered healthcare diagnostic tool has been found to produce significantly more errors in diagnosing diseases in certain demographic groups. This disparity likely indicates a failure in a. implementing a robust data encryption strategy b. ensuring diversity and inclusivity in the training dataset c. achieving a high computational power for the AI model d. focusing on the graphical user interface of the diagnostic tool Correct answer. B. Explanation. This situation points to a failure in ensuring diversity and inclusivity in the training data set. AI models can exhibit biases present in their training data, leading to disparities in outcomes among different demographic groups. Addressing such biases is crucial for the ethical and fair use of AI in sensitive areas like healthcare diagnostics. 2. A financial institution uses an AI system for credit scoring. Upon review, it's discovered that the system denies loans to applicants from specific zip codes more frequently than to those from other areas, despite similar financial profiles. This scenario primarily raises concerns related to a technical robustness and safety. B. Transparency and explainability. C. Fairness and non-discrimination. D. Environmental and societal well-being. Correct answer. C. Explanation. The scenario highlights concerns related to fairness and non-discrimination. The AI system's disproportionate impact on applicants from specific zip codes, despite similar financial credentials, suggests bias, potentially leading to discriminatory practices that need to be addressed to ensure equitable treatment of all loan applicants. 3. During the deployment of an AI system for automated job application screening, it is found that the system prefers candidates from a specific university. What is the most effective initial step to rectify this bias? A. Increasing the number of parameters the AI system uses to evaluate applications. B. Conducting a thorough audit of the AI system's decision-making process. C. Immediately discontinuing the use of the AI system for screening purposes. D. Introducing a manual review process to complement the AI system's decisions. Correct answer. B. Explanation. Conducting a thorough audit of the AI system's decision-making process is a crucial initial step to identify the source of bias, such as training data or algorithmic preference, leading to the preferential treatment of candidates from a specific university. This understanding is necessary to implement targeted corrective measures. 4. In implementing an AI system for predictive maintenance in manufacturing, what consideration is crucial to ensure the system's reliability and trustworthiness? A. The system's ability to generate detailed reports for every prediction it makes. B. Ensuring the system can operate independently without human oversight. C. Validating the system's predictions against historical maintenance data and expert assessments. D. Focusing exclusively on maximizing the system's predictive accuracy. Correct answer. C. Explanation. Validating the AI system's predictions against historical maintenance data and expert assessments is crucial for ensuring its reliability and trustworthiness. This approach ensures that the system's predictions are grounded in real-world outcomes and expert knowledge, fostering confidence in its use for predictive maintenance. 5. A multinational corporation implements an AI system for global customer service automation. To comply with international data protection and privacy laws, the company must a. store all customer data on servers located in the corporation's home country. b. ensure the AI system's algorithms are transparent and explainable across all jurisdictions. c. tailor the AI system's data handling practices to meet the specific legal requirements of each jurisdiction where it operates. d. use the same data protection and privacy standards globally, based on the most lenient jurisdiction's laws. Correct answer. c. explanation. Tailoring the AI system's data handling practices to meet the specific legal requirements of each jurisdiction where it operates is essential for compliance with international data protection and privacy laws. This approach acknowledges the diversity of legal landscapes and ensures that the company respects local regulations, avoiding legal and reputational risks. 6. An AI governance professional is evaluating an AI system designed for online learning platforms. The system personalizes learning paths for students based on their performance. To mitigate the risk of reinforcing existing knowledge gaps or biases, the professional should prioritize a. implementing strict access controls to student data b. ensuring the algorithm is regularly updated with new educational content c. monitoring for and correcting any biased decision-making patterns d. maximizing the system's speed to ensure real-time performance updates Correct answer c. explanation Monitoring for and correcting any biased decision-making patterns is crucial to ensure the AI system does not reinforce existing knowledge gaps or biases. This involves continuous oversight of the system's decisions to identify any tendencies that may disadvantage certain groups of students and adjusting the algorithm accordingly to promote equitable learning outcomes. 7. In the development of an AI system for environmental monitoring, integrating considerations of environmental and societal well-being requires a. Focusing solely on the system's potential to reduce operational costs. b. 
assessing the impact of the system's deployment on local communities and ecosystems. C. Ensuring the system has the highest possible accuracy in detecting environmental changes. D. Prioritizing the system's scalability across various geographic regions. Correct answer. B. Explanation. Assessing the impact of the system's deployment on local communities and ecosystems is essential for integrating considerations of environmental and societal well-being. This approach ensures that the AI system contributes positively to environmental monitoring efforts without inadvertently causing harm to the areas it's meant to protect or to the people living in those areas. 8. When incorporating AI into public sector decision-making processes, ensuring transparency and accountability is critical. This can be best achieved by a. using AI systems as the sole decision-maker to ensure efficiency. b. making the AI system's decision-making criteria and processes publicly available. c. limiting the scope of AI use to non-critical public sector decisions. d. relying on AI systems developed by external vendors without in-house oversight. Correct answer. b. explanation. Making the AI system's decision-making criteria and processes publicly available is vital for ensuring transparency and accountability in public sector decision-making. This allows for public scrutiny and understanding of how decisions are made, fostering trust in the use of AI within government operations. 9. An AI system used for loan approval is discovered to have a higher rejection rate for applicants in lower income brackets, even when other financial indicators are strong. To address this ethical concern, the financial institution should first a. Increase the number of loan officers to manually review all applications. B. Reevaluate and adjust the weight given to income brackets within the AI model. C. Focus on marketing loan products to higher income individuals exclusively. D. Completely remove income data from the decision making process. Correct answer. B. Explanation. Reevaluating and adjusting the weight given to income brackets within the AI model is a direct approach to addressing the ethical concern of bias against lower income applicants. This ensures that decisions are made more equitably, considering the full range of financial indicators. 10. To ensure an AI system's resilience against evolving cybersecurity threats, an organization must prioritize a static security measures that remain unchanged once implemented. B. Regularly updating the AI system software to patch vulnerabilities. C. Keeping the details of the AI system's security measures confidential. D. Avoiding updates to the AI system to maintain its original integrity. Correct answer. B. Explanation. Regularly updating the AI system software to patch vulnerabilities is crucial for ensuring the system's resilience against evolving cybersecurity threats. Static security measures are insufficient in the face of constantly changing cyber threats, making dynamic and proactive security practices essential. 11. An organization uses an AI system for resume screening and hiring processes. To combat potential gender bias, the most effective measure would be to A. Ignore all demographic information, including names and addresses. B. Manually review a subset of resumes to ensure the AI's choices are unbiased. C. Implement algorithms that are specifically designed to detect and mitigate bias. D. Only use the AI system for positions historically dominated by one gender. Correct answer. C. Explanation. Implementing algorithms that are specifically designed to detect and mitigate bias is the most effective measure to combat potential gender bias in AI-driven resume screening. This proactive approach addresses bias directly within the AI's decision-making process. 12. For an AI system that automates the distribution of humanitarian aid, ensuring fairness involves a. Distributing resources equally regardless of the recipient's needs. b. Tailoring aid distribution based on the AI's assessment of individual needs. c. Allowing recipients to opt out of AI-based decisions in favor of manual review. d. Prioritizing aid based on the geographic region of the recipients. Correct answer. b. Explanation. Tailoring aid distribution based on the AI's assessment of individual needs ensures fairness by considering the specific circumstances and requirements of each recipient. This approach allows for more nuanced and effective allocation of humanitarian aid. 13. An AI-driven content recommendation system for a streaming platform shows bias towards promoting content from certain producers. To address this issue, the platform should a. Limit the content available on the platform to only the most popular items. b. Adjust the recommendation algorithm to ensure a diverse range of content is promoted. C. Remove the AI-driven recommendation feature altogether. D. Increase the promotion of content from the favored producers to maximize engagement. Correct answer. B. Explanation. Adjusting the recommendation algorithm to ensure a diverse range of content is promoted addresses the issue of bias towards certain producers. This ensures that users are exposed to a wide variety of content, fostering a more equitable and diverse platform.